Good morning, good morning, my friend, and welcome, welcome to another drawing segment with the Rouser. So glad to have you here with me today. So uh, our lesson today is going to be about drawing children because you know that uh, children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way, right? <laughs> All right, so we got this awesome young lady here. We're going to teach you how to do a caricature of a young person, okay? So for this exercise, I'm going to be using a Sharpie, oh, not a Sharpie, excuse me. This is a, a Crayola. Actually, it's like a, a knockoff of Crayola, but you can still use a Crayola marker. It is, in essence, the same marker. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we're going to keep this real simple, okay? When I'm drawing the picture, all right, let's take a look over here. What I do, all right, is you want to go... Look at the half point of the face, which is usually going to be if you imagine a line right through the eyes and then you draw the bottom half of the face. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now, make sure you don't put too many angles in a baby's face because then it makes them look older. So we want this shape here. One. Two. Right. Three. Okay. Not too much chin hanging out down there either, okay? Because too much chin adds age, okay? So you want to almost keep your shape as fluid or as smooth as possible with a little bit of the chin out right here, okay? Now, once we have that, what I like to do so I can mark off where half point of the head is, okay, is I add my ear shape here, okay? All right, now once we add our ear shape, now we're gonna to come to the top of our head. Now I'm gonna show you a neat little trick here uh, that I, I, I came up with. If you, take a, if you take a pencil and you draw the number four right here, okay, can you see that four right there? I'm just gonna draw a light because we gotta erase it. Okay, can you see that four shape? Okay, because that's the four head, right? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> All right, now watch this, check it out. All right, so this is gonna be the top of the head, right? See, and then this is where we just kind of come around and we connect it right back. Okay, and of course, she'll have some little baby hairs or whatever have you here. Okay, all right, now we'll go ahead and put our hair on top of that shape. One, all right. Two, all right. Three, and then you can see she has all the little curls and stuff. Just like that. And this is a small piece of paper here, so I'm working with limited space. But you know, we, we can, you can still, you know, it's, we, I, and I'll teach you in some other videos how to control your your size a little bit more. It's really just taking command of the shape. I I really could have drew this four kind of down here a little bit more but i didn't but that's okay because we still you know we got as long as it looks like her that's the main thing all right so how are you doing so far all right you need me to hold up for a second am i okay going too fast so let me hold up you got that all right thumbs up thumbs up all right now what we're going to do is we're going to give her a little neck right and make sure that when you draw children, that you don't give them a lot of shoulders. That's one thing that I see a lot of caricatures make a mistake with is that the posture also is going to show us that this is a child. So if I'm drawing this child here, I might draw something where 
the shapes look like this when I get here because see how it makes it look like a child when I do that right okay now let's go ahead and go back to our four right and look at there four little compartments right so if I use this compartment here I can put my eyebrow here and I also can come over here and place an eyebrow just about in the same coordinate all right make sure that the eyebrow is nice and round at the top point and then it drops off down here okay nice and round up there all right now we're going to go to our eye shape now let me show you a cool thing you see that line right there Woo, right there watch this we're going to draw two little circles right underneath and we're going to put our eyeballs right where they belong and then check it out we're going to even add our eyeball right in there okay see how it's starting to look like her already right now having me even oh man i know you're saying like what yeah it's just that easy man it's just that easy all right now watch this all we got to do is use that top line come around and up up over and around okay now we're going to do our reinforcing shape here right okay and then we're going to come around with a light line and we're going to draw the bottom boom okay now our nose shape right look at that line right there okay so this is what we're gonna do notice that she has a kind of a flat round like buttony nose okay so let's go ahead okay and we'll come about right here we're gonna keep because we want to keep our eyes we want to keep our nose close to the eye so we don't want to draw too far down here you see what i'm saying we want to because we want to leave a good amount of space for that mouth so the trick here is remember that with children you want to keep your draw the top part of the nose first see right here how we already made it look like a baby just with that part now watch this okay then we draw the rest of the nose real smooth and make sure you just use one basic shape okay just like that and then we'll come over here and we'll draw a little light line and look at there we got a nice nose shape and the reason that the nose looks longer is because if you think about it the nose is really from the eyebrow down to here right not from here down to here but from here to here okay now we want to draw a mouth shape so this is what you do first things first you always want to draw this line here first okay what is that that is that little crest in the lip right there this tells us how far away from the nose we want to draw a shape okay so it's like a little hook but don't make a, a make it a hard line make it a soft line then we'll come here right and we'll draw our top lip shape just like that Okay, and then we'll come down over. All right, be sure. You see how I overlap that just a little bit there? That's important. Don't forget to copy just like the browser, okay? All right, and then we'll come over here and do this shape here. Same thing, right? And now we'll do a shape like so. And then we'll do a top shape. Now, let's go ahead and add our teeth in. All right. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So now we're going to add our teeth shape. So what I like to do here, let's just keep it simple, okay? Let's do, she has small teeth. Let's see, she has a little bit of gap in her teeth. So we'll do a little gap and make it one overall shape. You see that? Now watch, all we do is put a little thin line up here for her gum line. 
and then we come down here and we go one two three four five little baby teeth and we're going to add a little shape like this are you ready one two all right so we got a good shape now let's go back up to the eyes here and we're going to add a little circle just like this one and two see how make how that makes the eyes look kind of sparkly and you know really kitty like and then we're going to add two little other key lines here okay you ready one two very small though okay so you see how this kind of completes the circle of the cheek of the cheek shape okay that's how we're going to do that there and, and some of the rules the rules that i'm telling you here these little lines that i'm telling you this is this is a pretty universal for drawing any child caricature okay just remember the key points are to no sudden turns a little bit of shoulders be sure that most of your all your features are see how all of my features sit below the four only thing above the four is the is the eyebrows and that you can use the four to give them the four head right now really quickly what i'm going to do here is we're going to uh, grab a eraser and hear me fumbling around in my bag there and i'm just going to erase that four out of there because we're done with that forever right <laughs> And now we'll add a little bit of shadow. So you see you have a black. So now I got a gray. All right. Now for the with the gray marker, right? What I'll do is to see we're gonna we're gonna add a little bridge to the nose here. Just watch this. So we're gonna use the side of our marker. We'll just use a little side of it and we'll do a little line just like that. And then underneath the nose, we're gonna draw a little spaghetti line like this. Now you see how we added some dimension to our drawing with just two little lines and it's not as powerful as the black line so it doesn't it's not like adding a line to the face technically now we'll come over here i like to read i like to kind of go over my this line here all the time okay and then right here i like to go over this line that line this line and this line okay and then also because she has very light eyebrows we can go ahead and use it to kind of color in our brow shape okay and what do you say we add a little bit of color to those eyes but don't color all the way in just something like that and that's cool okay all right now in the mouth shape what i like to do is i'll add a little bit of color right in here so you'll see the shapes that i drew begin to stand out you never want to use black to do this color because then it's going to draw too much you know to the mouth so you don't want to use that let's go ahead and add three little dots and then three little dots so we got a little lipstick there right <laughs> it's just kid. all right now i like to do a profile shade so we'll just do something like this okay and then We'll just use it under the chin here and here around the ear shape. Oh, and let's go back. I forgot to add this little line here and this little line here. Okay. And now we're going to add some more little eyelashes here too. But So let's thicken up that top line just a little bit. all right so how's it coming and don't forget to go ahead and share this with me you know you can send your pictures to me online let me know how you're doing um, i'm just going to darken my eyebrows here you can do yours as well once we put the gray down then we'll add a little bit of black lines over the top and you see it gives it more of a smoother transition so it's kind of going from the white to the gray then to the black okay all right and last but not least, I want to, uh, I'm going to break out our jumbo color kit here, right? And we're going to get out our black crayon here. This is the black one. OK, 
Okay, and I'll use this to kind of do my hair. So we'll just do a quick little coloring job. So just follow me, watch here, look at the way that I'm coloring. Okay, watch my hand motion. One, two, three, one, three, okay. One, two, three, here. Now watch. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm, I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do very distinct shapes here because we're just trying to teach right now. So I want you to learn how to color. Keep it, keep your crayon within the lines. Jumbo crayons work best because uh, they cover up a lot of space very quickly, especially if you're going to be doing this as a a job or whatever, and you want to, you know, you want to be able to get a quality quality look, but you want to uh, also be mindful of time of the person then you know and the others that are waiting you might want to use something that's a, that can cover a little of ground a lot faster okay and then i just go ahead and give her some little suspenders here because that's her little outfit okay and I, I like to add just a little few more eyelashes just like that now that's my final touch all right so pretty much can add these little a little bit of black right here see how that just brings just a little bit on the edge and then we need some dimples because she has dimples I forgot that all right and then we added some little curves right there make sure those curves are very little all right so pretty much you just sign your work I'm gonna sign mine I want to thank you so much for watching the video tutorial about how to draw the little ones. Remember, they are the feature, right? Teach them well and let them lead the way. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be uh, putting up more videos and tutorials soon. I hope that I can draw with you again. If you have any uh, comments, requests, maybe you want to learn to draw someone that you're that you're interested in. Maybe you're following through social media. Uh, maybe that you just have uh, just maybe a random person like mom or dad and you, you're like hey you know I wish you'd make a video about that you can always message me I'll go ahead and uh, put you uh, on the request list and we'll get you taken care of all right so have a blessed and wonderful day and uh, the rouser will be seeing you next time again thank you for drawing with me my friend and God bless you Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.